All right, guys, Rob Pip here with another quick fix. This is a Windows 11 computer, and I've already enabled the command, but for the longest time, I could not figure out how to bypass setting up a Microsoft account on this new system. Back in the day, it was pretty easy. You just disabled all the network connections. It wouldn't see the network, and you were good to go. Well, now it kind of forces you into it. And I've already enabled this, and I'm just going to show you here in just a second i'm trying to hold my phone and do this uh, just give me one second we'll just call this one stream 02 said next i'm gonna go ahead and just give it a name there's a really simple command once you get to that screen that asks you for the microsoft account and i've already enabled that command and so i don't know how it's going to work here let's see what happens The command, by the way, is shift plus F10. That's gonna bring up a command prompt window and then you type in O-O-B-E backslash bypass N-R-O. So that is the command that you run. Now, I've already ran it. So I'm very eager to see if I can still put in that command just to show you how I did it earlier. I'm not trying to intentionally make this video longer. I'm just simply going through the steps here to give you an idea of how long it actually takes. But again, I've already ran the command. I don't know if it's going to automatically bypass it, if it's still going to ask for the Microsoft account creation. So, okay, perfect example. So it is not. See how it says sign in? And if you had your network disabled, it's going to force you to enable your network. So whenever you go to sign in, See all these options here? There's no, back in the day, you used to could say, hey, sign in options, um, just continue without a Microsoft account. You can't do that anymore. So the fix is supposed to be shift F10. It's gonna pull up a command prompt and it's O-O-B-E. Let me click up here, the command. O O. B E backslash by pass N R O and hit enter. Your system should reboot. And let's give it a second. And my daughter just said she has to go to the bathroom. Hold on, sweetheart. <laughs> Hello, Braylon. Hello, can you wave? <laughs> she just told me she has to go to the bathroom. All right, so let's try this here. What country? United States. That's the right keyboard. I don't want to... Add a second keyboard, I'm gonna skip that. I'm already connected to the internet, so it's checking for updates. Name your device, I'm just gonna skip this for now. All right, so it looks like this command no longer works as it is still asking me and trying to force me into a Microsoft account. Huh. So this command is no longer working. Okay, so let me disconnect my internet connection. Someone suggested this. 
So I'm just turning on airplane mode. That should kill the internet. Oh, wait a minute. That's weird. I just killed the internet connection after putting in that command and it rebooted. So let's see if this works. I'm just going to name it owner. That's typically what I do. All right. So I guess that's what you have to do. So it did work. What you have to do is after you put in that command and after it reboots, disable your internet connection. The way that I did it on my laptop is the FN key and the uh, airplane icon and that did it. So, man, guys, I'm sorry. This wasn't as straightforward as a lot of my other uh, videos that I, use, that I do. I usually like to get right to the point. But unfortunately, this one, I just wanted to show it to you because it happened uh, in real time. So one thing that I get to here, if you're using, like this is a, a manufacturer computer. It's an Acer. I use the Alt F4 for this. And I guess I disabled that too. Wow. Boy, they have disabled everything. You used to get Alt F4 for these screens. But anyways, yeah, again, sorry this one wasn't as straightforward as my other videos, but it looks like that command does work. Once you do it and the computer reboots, for me, I had to disconnect the internet by forcing airplane mode on. I would suggest disabling your internet first and then running that command. If you have any problems with this, let me know. I hope this helps somebody. But again, that command is shift F10, then type in O-O-B-E forward slash bypass N-R-O. That is all, all together, bypass B-Y-P-A-S-S N-R-O. Hey guys, I hope this helps you. Again, this was how to bypass forcing a Microsoft account on a new Windows 11 setup. Hello. Have a great day, guys. Appreciate you.